Hey guys, this is a continuation of our fall series, our simple fall recipes that you guys have asked for, which I happen to love because fall is one of my favorite times of the year. They have such amazing vegetables at the farmer's market, and a lot of these recipes are really easy. So this is a cauliflower recipe. And I gotta tell you, when I first started giving my kid vegetables, this was her favorite recipe and she still loves it now. I love it, my partner loves it. It's great to have prepped in the fridge and it stays good for a few days and the flavors keep melding. It's just, I don't know, it's really great. I came up with it one day and it's been really successful. So now I'm sharing it with you guys. So here we go. Okay, great. So I already washed my cauliflower. So now how I do it is this big stem, I usually just cut off right away. And then I just pull off the stems. So then you can see this, you can get that off. So now what I do is now there's a nice flat kind of base. So now it's nice and sturdy. Cut it in half. And then what I'll do is see this uh, this core in the middle. So what I'll do is I'll cut it out at like a V and then I'll pull this out and then I just break off the, the florets like that. And then from there, I'll just kind of shape them. And if it's like that, see they get all like cute and clumped together, just break them up. So there's four. This one's a little bigger, so I'm gonna cut him in half. Okay, great, so. Another thing I use in this recipe is, you guys know I am a broken record about bone broth. I always have broth in my freezer or my fridge. This is a beef broth that's already defrosting. It was in my freezer. But um, in this recipe, I'll put like a quarter cup of broth in with it to help the cauliflower steam with all the flavors I'm gonna put in there. So I'm gonna put this in a pot, melt it down so I can use it in this recipe. Okay, clean pan, right? We're gonna toss in the cauliflower. We're gonna add a few things and the cauliflower is gonna cook all in this awesome stuff. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add, this is a quarter cup. We're gonna add a quarter cup of beef broth. So you can use chicken broth or whatever broth you have. This just is really gonna help the cauliflower steam and a lot of times when I make my vegetables, I mean, I try to get bone broth in anything that I can. So, you know, proteins, vegetables, it'll kind of steam itself in there. So that's looking pretty good. So we're gonna add like a teaspoon of butter. Now I eyeball this all the time, but I'm really gonna try to tell you guys how much I'm using. Cause I make this so much, I really just eyeball it. So let's say half a teaspoon of toasted sesame oil. Whenever I'm doing anything where I'm using my Umi Plum Vinegar and my Brag Amino Acids, which I use in a lot of stuff, I tend to use toasted sesame oil versus olive oil, because I think it goes better with the flavors. So let's say that's about three quarters of a tablespoon of Brag, and then half a teaspoon of the Umi Plum. The Umi Plum Vinegar is so good. It adds such a beautiful, sweet little tang but it's very easy to go overboard quickly. So you gotta be careful. So now that all this is in here, just give it a stir. Get it all nice and coated. But it's great, you have that liquid in the bottom that's gonna steam. And when I'm cooking things that my daughter's gonna eat, I go light on the seasoning. So. I don't usually add a ton of extra salt and she's also pretty sensitive to um, fresh, the fresh ground black pepper. So if I know she's gonna be eating something, I won't really add a lot of black pepper to it. And because I use the brag, I might not even have to add salt. But I'll just do a little bit, just a little tiny sprinkle of Himalayan salt. So now what we're gonna do is, see that's, nice and bubbly and starting to steam a little bit. I'm gonna turn it a little bit lower and cover it. And let's let all the flavors meld for a couple of minutes and then we'll take a look. Okay, so it's been a couple of minutes 
and I'm actually gonna add a little bit more brag and umi. I just made this so many times I can tell it should be a little bit more brown, which that comes from the brag. So I'm gonna add a little, another little splash. Again, because my daughter's gonna be eating this, I tend to kind of season it in stages. Because once you kind of cross over and it goes too far, you know, the kids aren't gonna eat it. Great, so we're gonna let that keep cooking. I'm gonna put the lid back on and check it again in about two minutes. Okay, so it's been another two minutes. So you know when this cauliflower is cooked, when you take a fork or a knife and it easily pierces through. I don't like it to be too overcooked and soft. I still like it to have a little bit of its density, but these are nice. This is perfectly cooked. If you wanna also have it a little bit more well done, sometimes I'll just turn the flame off. I'll leave it like this. Keep it covered for a few minutes because it'll keep cooking in there, but just, you know, without the flame and it'll keep cooking, but just at a much lower rate, so you can control it. So here is your prepped cauliflower. So easy, so yummy. It stays good in your fridge for like three to four days. Um, I hope you guys like this recipe and I hope your family likes it. And subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications so you know when I put up a new video and I'll see you guys next time.